Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Grand Strand Nissan in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm checking out this 2015 Nissan Rogue. And this is kind of like the little brother of the uh, the Murano, but um, as far as features and size and everything and usability, it's a really good option. So this one is the SL uh, trim level with the premium package. So it has a lot of the similar features, a lot of the same features actually as the uh, the Murano. Um, but you get a you know a little bit different price point, and um, you know it's a slightly smaller vehicle. So if you're you know into that kind of thing, this might be what you're looking for. Now here in the front, uh, it's really windy today, so hopefully uh, my wind filter will do its job. <laughs> Sorry about that. But here in the front, we've got projector headlights, and I believe they're halogens. I'm not. I don't think they are HIDs and you do have the fog lights there and as you can see it has the LED accents around the headlights here in the front and this vehicle has a little bit different styling um, than the uh, the Murano it has a less of a it's less of a sports car look I guess you can say but it does have a a good sleek look so that might be a, um, a benefit to you if you don't quite like the styling of the Murano this might be another option this one also has the, the 2.5 liter uh, four-cylinder engine versus the V6. So here in the front, it has the around view camera system. And you see right there has the camera right below the Nissan badge. And uh, this right here, check this out. This little square thing. Um, if you don't know what that is, I've got a video on that, but it actually comes with the part for that, which I'll show you in a second. It's, it's a, it's a um, it's like a tow hook that screws into that little place there. I'll, I'll show you it. Most of the new vehicles don't come with it. You have to order it separate, but this one actually has it included. All right, so it has the aluminum wheels. Um, it's got 18 inch aluminum wheels and uh, they're kind of a matte finish. They're not real glossy or anything like that, but it does have a good styling. So it has the rails there the luggage rack on top and this one does have the the key system that um, basically let me see if I can get the key out and show you it's an intelligent key is what they call it and basically as long as you have this key in your uh, uh, within a few feet of the door you can use this button to lock it and unlock the door and uh, you can also you know use the key to unlock it and lock it itself and there's also the ability to lift the tailgate which I'll show you in a second so looking in here here's the inside of the drop the, the passenger side door and uh, this this one does have the tan interior you got some stitching here this is very soft right here on the armrest you got a bottle holder and some storage space now this looks like a imitation um, uh, like a carbon fiber trim here and this is like a black part right here the, the top of the dash is black the rest of it's tan do have the uh, manual adjustments on the passenger side they are heated seats though with the perforations here in the center on the back as well nice high quality um, firm feeling seats um, they are the zero gravity seats in this vehicle so um, so you got to really kind of sit in them and, and see what I'm talking about. They are very comfortable seats. There's the interior there. Glove compartment is pretty much massive. All right, now you got tons of room for the rear passengers. Inside of the rear doors has the same quality as the front. But you can see, um, you see the seats lean back a little bit. Uh, you can adjust these seats, you know, forward and back to get a little, the right comfort level. And uh, and look at all the legroom you got back here. I mean, it's like a like a living room, I guess you can say. And the ability to adjust the seats is a really good plus. Um, I think that's a that's a great feature. This, 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 these things will do, fold down. These seats will fold down. Let me go ahead and do that for you to show you. So like say if you need some more cargo space, you can fold the seats down 
and you can have a combination of uh, passenger and cargo space because it is a 60-40 split uh, bench seat system. Alright, so let's take a look here at the back. Got that little spoiler there on the top of the glass. It is a single exhaust. Let me know what you think of the styling of this vehicle. All right, so right back here is, um, let's see, where's it at? There it is, the backup, the, the camera there. And I forgot to show you, there is a camera under here as well, um, underneath the, the, the side mirror on both sides. It does have the privacy glass for the rear passengers, which most SUVs do nowadays. So let's go ahead and lift up the tailgate using the key. You see the key has the ability to um, to lift up the tailgate by pushing and holding this button. It's going to beep a couple times and it will raise up. And you can adjust the height of this uh, tailgate by pushing and holding this button once it reaches. Move it to the desired point, and then you push and hold that button, and it'll set it to that, that height. So next time it opens, it'll only go to that height. The, the purpose of that is if you need, if you have a low roof in your garage, or if you just, you know, not very tall, you can set it to whatever you want, basically. So here in the back, of course, we've got the, uh, you know, the seats fold down, of course, but there is lots of storage space back here as well. And this is that tow hook I was telling you about. It's a big, heavy-duty metal hook that screws into the the front part to where um so that way a tow truck driver or whatever if you know if you're having the vehicle hauled somewhere then um you can you know secure the vehicle without messing up any of the, the fascia there on the front all right so here's in the back um you've got some some mats here but this right here lifts up and you've got some storage space and do it one-handed there we go if kind of folds down in that space there you can see it goes up into there a little bit on both sides in case you need to kind of squeeze something in there and also this whole thing will lift up revealing the spare tire and then you've got some more storage space up here go ahead and put that back down so I'm gonna go ahead and close it down using this button Another view of the outside. So we've got heated side mirrors here. And you see the keyhole here? It does actually have a key inside, um, inside this key fob. You would open this up and slide out the actual metal key. In case the battery went dead, you can still access your vehicle. All right, so here's the inside of the driver's door. It has a little, basically the same as the others, except for this one has your power door, power windows, power door locks, the ability to lock out the other windows here, and um, you know your side mirror controls here. Power seat with lumbar support, adjustable lumbar support here for the driver. And you've got quite a few things over here. You can turn your traction control off using this button. You can turn sport mode on here. You can open up the, the tailgate. Uh, the power door you can actually turn off if you want to. Uh, you've got an eco mode button there. And this button, if I don't really know exactly what that button's for, other than it has something to do with um, you know making the sound that's the speaker system more aggressive sounding. That's my guess. You, maybe you can tell me what it is, because uh, I'm not sure. And this is the, uh, the dimmer switch uh, for the interior lights. And you also have a uh, trip reset button there. Good. Hop in here. Let me turn the fan down a little bit. 
I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna turn the climate control off for a second. So you can get an idea of how quiet it is in here. It's very windy today. I don't know if you can tell all the trees and the flags waving, but. All right, so I'm getting hot, so I'm gonna turn that back on. So anyways, back to the vehicle. Leather wrapped steering wheel with stitching on the inside. It does have the little grips here for the sportiness of it. And, um, and this color matched with the rest of the vehicle. It's a tan color. A lot of cars will have tan seats, but everything else is black. So this one actually has the steering wheel, the same color as the rest of the vehicle, which is pretty neat. Cruise control settings are right here. You can uh, turn it on and off. Uh, basically, you know, you can accelerate and deaccelerate uh, here and, um, and cancel it. Right down here, you have a voice recognition button. Um, it recognizes your voice and you can have different commands for the vehicle, like tune to a certain station or call a certain person that's in your phone book. And speaking of that, calling somebody, you can send and receive calls here uh, with the, um, the, the button there. Once your cell phone is paired with the system, the Bluetooth system, you can, um, you know, answer calls and make calls. It's kind of integrated with the voice command system there. On this side, at the bottom, you've got a volume button so you can turn the radio, turn it up and down if you want to do that. And the source, like say if you want to change it to, um, you know, different Bluetooth audio, uh, auxiliary input, AM, FM, uh, FM2, and then you back to satellite radio. So your, your sources, a uh, diff bunch of different sources uh, for playing music on this, this vehicle here. So below that, you have these buttons and you have this, this toggle and enter switch. Uh, this corresponds with this center. See, here's your gauges. You got your speedometer and all that stuff, and you can see this car needs some gas in it. So you might see some alerts. Um, actually, I do see alert, little triangle there. But let's kind of cycle through using this, uh, these buttons here. I'm going to push the square button, and I'm going to kind of cycle through just so you can get an idea of what everything is like. It's telling me, hey, low fuel. So kind of gives you some really important information there. Um, and then there's your different settings. You can scroll through that by using this uh, this button here. You can scroll through it and you know go into certain settings. Um, I can continue on. It'll give me an estimated range, which is zero because I don't have any gas. <laughs> Average speed miles five miles per hour. Um, new vehicle hadn't really gone anywhere. Fuel economy very low because it's skewed because it's a new vehicle because it hasn't gone anywhere. Um, and there's your compass, which is pretty neat. I like the way they have the, uh, the the, the vehicle in the center of the compass it gives you a good visualization. Um, there's what your radio is doing, and it goes back to your driving aids and letting you know what is uh, what is turned on and off. I'll show you the driving aids. You know, with the camera system, it's a pretty neat system. And since I used a remote, just want to like show you something. When you want to start it, I already had the vehicle started, but I get, you know, I just want to show you how to actually start it. It has a push button here. As long as the key's in the vehicle, you can turn it on or off using that button. Now to start it, you have to put your foot on the brake and hold it and then push this button and it'll start up. So, and then you get a little sequence there with the vehicle and all that good stuff. It's pretty neat. All right, this one does have a premium Bose sound system. And it's warning me that I have no gas. Um, so over here, uh, it has a CD player at the top, but this is a nice touch screen here uh, that you can you know, kind of navigate your navigation, navigate through your navigation. You can put in you know, street addresses and stuff like that. You can hit the, as a back button to go back out of there. You can look, just view your map by pushing that. Uh, AM, FM, CD, auxiliary, all that good stuff is there. And you can go to night mode, which you can adjust it like that. Back button, scroll through your, your stations or your CD or whatever. Same thing, he, here's your scroller and there's your volume here. Your power button is on this side. Now the camera, I'm going to push the camera button. And this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in a vehicle. It gives you a 360, this is a round view, view of the vehicle. 
and like literally it looks like there's a camera 50 feet above you looking down so basically um, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of move so you can see I'm gonna go ahead and turn the wheel and start backing up you see that you see how it, it shows me actually moving on the ground and another cool thing is if you push camera again it focuses the attention on the front right front tire the right on the passenger side front tire Tori when you're backing up and getting parallel parking or getting close to a curb and you can see the tire literally sticking out there because I got the wheel turned and you can get right on the line wherever you need to go it gives you that really precise control over the vehicle awesome feature um, cameras need to be used more often in vehicles and this is a this is a really good use of them right here all right so um, and it will detect moving objects too so like say if you know somebody starts walking back there like earlier there was some shadow moving there it detected that and it'll kind of beep so um, just to kind of let you know all right so climate controls down here it is a dual zone and you can turn the dual zone off and have it just synced to where you can adjust it both temperatures here like that fan speed mode is where you want the air to blow like that recirculate the air if you don't want to have some outside air coming in and of course you can just put on audio auto and set the, the temperature and you're good to go if you want to do that there's your USB input and auxiliary input. You also have a power supply, 12 volt on this side. A little storage pocket there, which it does have a rubber mat that you can pull out and clean out. And here's your shifter. And uh, it does have the um, CV transmission, um, constantly variable transmission. And that way you can get the highest performance with the best gas mileage. That's to kind of sum up the whole idea between that, that transmission, I guess you could say. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you, when you put it in reverse, it pops up this backup camera. Before it was showing the front of the vehicle, now it's showing the back. And it does have the uh, estimated trajectory of the, the path when you turn a steering wheel. It will change the lines there to kind of give me an estimated trajectory of the vehicle as I'm backing up. And um, you know these are different distances from the back of the vehicle. It is a wide angle view, so things are a little bit distorted. Um, that's the reason for the lines to kind of help you out with that. And when you put it out and drive right here, uh, this is just for everyday normal driving. If you're going down a hill, if you needed to use the engine to kind of slow you down so you don't have to use your brakes, um, going down a long hill or something, you can actually put it down low and it'll you know keep your RPMs high and use your engine braking more often cup holders are here and I put my cell phone here just to kind of show you that um, it does have a pretty neat pocket for a cell phone and I have a Samsung Note 4 which is a pretty good size cell phone here and it fits right in there perfectly and um, you know secure it's not going to fall out heated seats it does have them and there's the controls there and there you got an armrest that lifts up like so and it has two two um, spots there two buttons um, so you have this little spot right here to put some small stuff and then you got get choose the right there to get the big button is for the big compartment remember that so I always forget and here is a pretty good size uh, storage bin with a power supply down in there I don't know if you can see it there maybe you can see it now everything's black in there Anyways, there's a black it's, um, storage bin, and you can, it's going to get cluttered, I'll just say that. Alright, so, go up here, it has the old-fashioned rearview mirror that you adjust it like that. You've got a place to put your sunglasses. You've got little lights. You can turn your interior lights on there. You can make it to where the interior lights will turn on and off of the door. And, um... Visor has the lights and a mirror, and uh, it's got the big dual pane panoramic sunroof. So you can, it has a vent, as you can see, it's a, it, I'm sorry, a shade. <laughs> has a shade, and you can open up the shade like so. Right. 
So there's the uh, there's with the shade back, and you can go ahead and vent it by pushing the button here. You can also um, close that. You can also open it up. And on a nice day today, like today, it's going to be a really cool to open it up and drive around. Go ahead and close the shade there. Alright, let me give you an idea of what it looks like back here. What it looks like on the inside. Sometimes I just zoom in too much looking at features that I kind of miss the big picture. So I apologize for that. Alright, so let's look underneath the hood. Check out that four cylinder. Alright, there it is 2.5 liter four cylinder Nissan engine. And uh, the four cylinders are not quite as at a idle, they're not quite as smooth as like say the V6s or whatever. But it is pretty quiet. And good on gas and all of that good stuff. But yeah, I think you should, um, if you're at all interested in these, go ahead and go test drive one and see how you like it. If you have any questions, um, you can email or call uh, somebody here at Grand Strand Nissan. I'll leave the contact information in the description and they're the real experts on these um, This is uh, trying to give you an idea of what these are all about and if you want to take one for a test drive or whatever Just let them know this is in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I know that people come here from all over the place on vacation, so um, You know it may be a good idea to swing by here while you're down here and, and drive back in a new car but Anyway, if you have any questions, let me know um, have the contact information in the description and also you can of course leave a comment in the comment section thanks for watching see you next time one thing you'll notice when you drive a Nissan they have um, they have electric power steering so they have this really smooth smoother than other electric power steering system when you're driving it um, especially at low speeds I mean, it's so easy to drive, and it's just a pleasure to drive. I mean, you just one finger is all it takes, and, um, you know, you can maneuver for, through parking lots easy, and, uh, you know, take, for, take it for a test drive is all i got to say. It's a, uh, they're, they're, act, they're an absolute pleasure to drive, and, um, and they're priced well and high quality, lasts a long time, all that good stuff. So, check them out, and let me know what you think.